The Comfort Bridge Communicating Control System offers off-the-wall technology to provide numerous benefits to homeowners and HVAC technicians. Rather than installing the communicating circuit board in a thermostat, the Comfort Bridge technology system has the control board securely mounted in the gas furnace or air handler. In addition, the Comfort Bridge communicating system uses Bluetooth technology, which allows for wireless connectivity to set up, configure, and diagnose the entire system. To utilize this feature, the Cool Cloud app was created. Here are three advantages the Cool Cloud app provides. One, use of the app helping to reduce the manual effort that it takes to connect and diagnose the HVAC system. Two, availability of historical data to help make diagnostic decisions. Three, the app provides quick assistance to help save time while identifying and troubleshooting problems. With those features in mind, let's take a quick look at how easy it is to use the Cool Cloud app. First, you must download the app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. After the Cool Cloud app is downloaded to your cell phone, the app must be registered by clicking here. After you have registered, simply enter the username and password and the login is complete. You'll be able to view the gas furnace or the air handler that is connected to the high efficiency system once the Cool Cloud app is open. Simply select the specific unit and you will be asked to pair the unit to the Cool Cloud app. To complete this task, there are two options. One, you can enter the three digit code displayed on the circuit board. The second option is the thermostat task option. It's handy to use if you don't want to take the panels off the equipment or should the three digit code information be blocked by the unit's wire harness. Watch as we pair the Cool Cloud app to this gas furnace once you click on Pair the device by code, use the three-digit code displayed. Simply enter it into the app. In this example, the pairing code is 953. Tap here, enter 953, select, and you'll be logged into the equipment. Once logged in, you'll receive information about the gas furnace, the outdoor condensing unit which is tied to the equipment digitally through a wired connection and the system settings. It's also possible to add notes about the system equipment. When you select View All Notes, you can see if any notes have been added previously. To add notes to be stored in the Bluetooth board, simply go into the Add Notes section, type in your notes and hit Save. It's that easy. In the Notes section, you can include any information that you desire. Information that will be included can include the installation date, or you might want to include information that's specific to the installation site that may not even apply to the equipment. That information will be stored and available to you when you return to this site at a future date. Another feature of the Cool Cloud app is that you'll have access to the system settings of the indoor equipment, which in this example is the furnace. In addition, you'll have access to the outdoor piece of equipment, such as the air conditioner, in this example. In the System Status menu, you'll be able to get basic information on the thermostat, telling you where demand exists. As you can see right now, there's a call for constant fan, and you can see that the 24-volt G terminal demand is listed as on. Let's close the System Settings menu and take a closer look at the Gas Furnace menu. Here, you can see that the unit is indeed a gas furnace. You can review the firmware version and the shared data version. Our example today shows the model number and serial number of the equipment, the size of the equipment, the blower motor horsepower, and also the maximum airflow that the blower is designed to provide. As you might expect, none of the settings in this area are adjustable. Device settings allows you to make several adjustments to the HVAC system. While the equipment is designed to configure automatically during the initial installation, this is the area where you can make fine-tuned adjustments. For example, you can adjust how the staging algorithm works on the gas furnace, further airflow, gas heat on delay, dehumidification logic, and several other options are available for minor adjustments. For example, 
If you wanted to make a change to dehumidification logic, touch the drop-down menu next to it, change it from high to low, hit Apply Changes, and that change will be successfully saved into the system. Let's move back to the front menu. Here, we can perform run tests on the equipment. By selecting constant fan mode and adjusting the blower speed, you can test fan operation. Select run and the blower will start to operate until you hit stop mode, discontinuing the test. Moving down to the device status section, you can actually view the operating characteristics of the equipment, very similar to the system menu you saw previously. Right now, the constant fan demand is displayed and the 24-volt thermostat G-terminal is energized. If you scroll down, you'll find the current airflow that's being provided by the equipment. The sensor data menu shows input from sensor devices connected to the indoor and control board. In this case, we have nothing connected to the indoor board, so nothing is visible. Let's move to view fault code history. If any active fault codes exist, they'll be listed in this menu. It's possible to review the resolved fault codes too. In this example, there's a blower communication error which was likely initiated during one of the test runs of this piece of equipment. Now let's go back to the main menu and look at the air conditioner that is connected to this system. A run test can be completed on this specific equipment by selecting the snowflake displayed. In the configuration menu, much like was available when viewing the gas furnace, it will display specific information about the equipment, such as the model number and the serial number of the equipment. When you open the device settings, you'll find that the outdoor unit has an assortment of available adjustments. Some of those apply indirectly to the indoor equipment also. Currently, the cooling airflow profile is set to D. That is by default, but you can set that to any of the four settings that are listed on the screen. Scroll down and you'll find many other menus, one which gives you the ability to reset the fault history. Simply select Yes, hit Apply Changes, and the changes are applied. The ability to check the device status to view the operational characteristics of the outdoor unit is possible too. In this example, the unit is idle and has no operational characteristics to report at this time. The sensor data menu allows you to discover what the temperature sensors are reading in the outdoor piece of equipment. Currently, it shows an outdoor temperature of almost 92 degrees. Yes, this is Houston, and it's hot. From here, let's scroll down to the fault code history. The good news is that we have no active or resolved faults reported today. If there are any active faults, the app will list up to six fault codes in memory so you can review the operational history of the HVAC system. As we move back to the main menu, you can see how easy it is to use the app and the great information that it makes available to you. The Cool Cloud app is available for use with all ComfortBridge communicating compatible equipment. We've discussed the ComfortBridge technology and the Cool Cloud app. Now let's take a quick look at the control board that is located on the air handler or gas furnace. The same circuit board is used with two-stage products as is used with the modulating gas furnace. The only difference is an unpopulated section at the top of the control board. Moving towards the bottom of the circuit board, you'll find that there are three seven-segment displays that provide information about the system. The three seven-segment displays and push buttons can be used for programming if a contractor decides not to use the Cool Cloud app to make adjustments. From this control board view, you can see that the fan is running at approximately 800 CFM. Below the seven-segment displays is the thermostat connection. This piece of equipment has the ability to connect to any single-stage thermostat. Rather than requiring the use of a potentially expensive and dedicated thermostat, you can connect and use any single-stage thermostat preferred by the contractor or end-user. This feature provides application flexibility and is far more cost-effective than the limited competitive option. To the left of the thermostat connection 
is the two-wire connection to the outdoor communicating equipment. This can be either an air conditioner or a heat pump. Also, a single-stage heat pump or air conditioner can also be connected using the analog connections described previously. The small square board to the lower left is the Bluetooth connectivity board. It's an independent board with a connection from the main board via an RJ11 connection. This is the board that allows wireless connectivity from the HVAC system to the Cool Cloud app. The flashing light on the Bluetooth module provides an indication that the Bluetooth module is operational. That concludes the brief overview of the Cool Cloud app. As you can see, the app was designed to be simple to use. With the combination of Comfort Bridge technology and the Cool Cloud app, you now have the ability to set up, configure, and diagnose compatible equipment wirelessly and with enhanced ease.